I'm like yellowish green. I should fix that, but I won't. So this week you guys suggested doing responses to the I'm scared videos, which I can't say I'm exceptionally excited about in large part because I am just a little bit tired of that conversation. I mean, I think most of my frustration is with my lack of interest in this particular topic rather than the fact that my sub feed is inundated with like the same thing. Because I actually think that latter thing is really cool. When I feel like all the videos I'm watching are participating in this same sort of conversation. It's one of the things that I found most enjoyable about doing Vita with prompts. And in theory, it's one of the things that I like most about this whole collab channel thing. Anyway, so Charlie's initial video talks about being scared of being judged. And as a means of tying this back to our whole channel purpose. Also because I'm feeling super antsy about the lack of travel in my life. I actually feel like I'm seriously losing my mind a little staying in one place for so long. And the thing I'm actually most looking forward to about Christmas is getting to get on a plane again. That's weird. And I'll have to remind myself of that as I'm standing in a really long TSA line. Anyway, being judged. I think I brought this up ridiculously often when I was still in Paris, but that was always the thing that was the hardest for me about language learning. I accepted that I was gonna make some blunders culturally speaking, and I was eager to be corrected on all of those things, so long as we could do that in a language that I understood. I completely screwed myself over with my, like, insane paranoia of ever actually speaking French, I, just because I was so uncomfortable with the way that people would react to me speaking it. I was equally ashamed of the way that people would react to my inability to speak it. So I was just kind of silent for like a year. Maybe that's part of why I started vlogging while I was over there. And this isn't to say that I didn't spend plenty of time speaking to my other American friends there. But since coming back to the US, I have found so many situations in which I have to remind myself to speak up because I basically just conditioned myself to avoid speech or use tan signals or whatever. And while I knew that I was doing this, I don't think I realized just how much I was doing it until after I came back home. I mean, I'm kind of a shy person. It's weird to sit on YouTube and talk about not speaking or like introversion. The couple times that I've made videos in which I talk about being an introvert, people are always like, no, there's no way you're an introvert. As if this is somehow the definitive representation of who I am as a person. I don't know where I'm going with that. So in Charlie's video, that fear of being judged is kind of what restricts him from doing the thing that he wants to do, which is to create things, principally videos, that other people enjoy. And for me, all things being possible, the thing I would most like to do in the world is just explore the world, which involves experiencing new things and meeting all sorts of different kinds of people. And that is very difficult when you you are so paranoid about the way that they will interpret everything that you do or say or don't say. This is kind of a weird video because it feels sort of unrelated because I'm talking about a fear which is no longer relevant to my life in the immediate sense, but it's not like I'm never gonna travel again. I certainly hope that I will end up actually living abroad again. And I think it's important to be honest with yourself about what kinds of limitations you face and know what obstacles you need to overcome. So yeah. <laughs> so that's me doing what you asked. Maybe you'll regret that now. I will see your faces later this week. Maybe we'll even have a unicorn Britney sighting. <laughs>